Science has always been a topic that requires a lot of imagination because there are so many things that are massively larger than us, like the universe, and there are so many things that are so much smaller than us, like a cork. That said, I wear glasses, so the most I've ever seen is a hadron. Bad physics jokes aside, it does require a lot of imagination to think about how molecules combine together and to think about how things work in physics, plus a whole bunch of other subjects where we may want to be able to manipulate and understand things that are very large, very small, or in some cases would be dangerous or destructive to work with in the real world. So what can we do? Well, we have had solutions in the past. A classic example are globes or models where I can go through and I can explain concepts by having some sort of model that helps me explain a concept to a class or to others. A challenge with models though is that they're not necessarily that interactive and they can't provide all the detail that we might want. I don't see what zombies see in these things. If only there was some way that we could immerse ourselves into the world of molecules and manipulate them, or into the world of physics, and beyond. Well, no surprise I'm talking about virtual reality. In this video, I want to share with you a company that is building something that I think is very, very special. Because it not only allows me to learn how to manipulate things in a virtual reality environment, but it is tied to a learning management system that allows me as an instructor to build a class around those activities, to have quizzes around those activities, and to really use all the best principles of experimental learning to learn about chemistry, physics, and I suspect a lot more in the future. Let's pop in and take a look. There are actually two different parts to setting up the experience for students. The first part is the web portal. This is where you can go in and do all sorts of things like register devices, add students, add classes. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And then there's the in headset experience, which is where the students will go. They'll join the class, they'll participate in the activities, and they'll actually complete all of the different lab work and assignments that you've given them. When I go to portal.fuduclass.com, you'll notice that I have a lesson planning section here, and I have an administration section. Let's take a look at what I have. First of all, I have my VR lessons. You can see that all subjects, there's 11 so far. I have nine which are in chemistry. These are all really nice, great lessons. There is another one here coming soon, which is a kitchen assembly. So you can see the great potential here to not just do science, technology, engineering, and math, but also some practical hands-on skills, especially things that would cost a lot of money if we had to take kitchen cabinets apart all the time. This gives us a chance to practice the skills and see how things fit together. And we have physics. This is the electric circuit, which is new. We're going to concentrate on chemistry for this demo because this really is the area that the lessons are more developed at this point. I can also go in and create a class. So when I go to create a class, you can see any closed classes will appear here and any active and open classes are here as well. To create a class, I just go into create a class and I'll call this one balancing. So let's say I want to do a class on balancing. I can go through and I can choose what I want to do here. So if we go through, I can say, let's go ahead and do the reaction balancing. And then I will save this and I will now have a class that's available at my school. My school is called Learning and Technology with Frank. So Futu Class gave me a school called Learning and Technology with Frank so I could play around with this. And now I have this class. If I go to my classes here, you can see I've got two open classes and I've got two closed classes. And what this will do is this will show up when I put on the VR headset or when a student puts on a VR headset. They'll be part of my school. They'll see the available classes and then they will be able to come in and register at this class, put their name there. Notice that with the classes that I've closed here, for example, the electric circuit here, the oxygen escape room, let's go here. You can see that this student named Frank came and took this twice, and he didn't really spend a lot of time finishing the escape room. He really didn't escape in 13 seconds. But you can see here that there's information. You can see that here the result was I had a balancing reaction for this particular class. You can see here that I started this. But it does give me some insight into the students that were in the class and what they did and how long they were in the class. So there is some, some information there that I can use. I can also go to the resource center which is quite extensive and quite good. First of all, we have teacher resources to help teachers 
that want to use VR in education, and we have technologist resources for people who need to set it up. A lot of times that's the same person. Underneath teacher resources, you can see there's a welcome to teaching in virtual reality uh, FAQ, and there's a, this takes the form of an article. If I go back, you can see, you know, setting up a headset, you can see that this takes the form of a video and an article that will help you get set up. So there is a lot of really good resources here that you can use. Uh, the VR lessons are the heart, but there's a lot of additional things you can use. Here's where I would go in and set up members. If I want to put additional students in my class or additional instructors in there, I can have different roles. Licenses, where I would activate my licenses. Devices. We are go to devices here. You can see that my Oculus Quest has been registered here. The Oculus Quest has a name, Learn with Frank. In a classroom environment, you probably have a group of them, let's say six to ten of them, maybe a dozen, and you would have labels on them, you know, set one, set two, and you'd put them all in here as well, and you license those as well. So you can link and unlink them there, get new licenses as well, and billing is obvious, you can have billing. So if I go in here, go back to the VR lessons, I'm going to go in and underneath reaction balancing here, another great thing I have is a whole description of what the activity is all about and I can even download a lesson plan. So I can have a nice lesson plan here that talks about what I'm going to do in the activity, what the prep time is, what the learning time is, what the reflection time is, and there we go. We have a whole nice VR session that I can do with the uh, reaction balancing. And if I go in here, I can also go and have a quiz. So we can click on this, it'll open up a Google's form, and I now have reaction balancing and I have a quiz. Student can take this quiz, and then they're able to get a copy of their quiz sent to them, they submit it, and I get those results. All in all, it's a really great way to get students working with VR, but not exclusively in the VR environment. It's part of a process of learning that's combined with lesson plans, it's combined with quizzes, it's combined with teacher interaction. It's quite, a, quite an interesting environment. I'm going to launch the Futu Class application. You can see I get my screen. I'm in headset now, so now I can look around. There's not too much to see yet. It's going to load the application. It takes a few moments. And then when it loads the application, I'll be able to join a class or I'll be able to do activities. You can do either or. So you can see here, right now it's in a different language. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to English for myself. I speak English, so I'll change that to English. And now I can see that I can work with VR activities. I can join a class. If I join a class, it's going to ask for my name. And these will be classes that are set up for my school. So I've already set up these classes. And you can see I have a couple of classes that are currently active in my school. I'll just take a read of what the class is about. I could join it. So I could go in ahead and join that here. Um, I'm just going to go out. So let's just resume here. And I'm going to actually just go into an activity. So you can see here I could join another class. So for example, uh, you know, physics if I want to go in here. Notice there's no description in physics yet. Uh, the chemistry classes are the ones that I really have more descriptions on and the ones that I really have been working with since I've been playing around with this. So I'm going to go in, um, let's go out of here and I can go out of here as well and I could just go in and do an activity if I'd like without being part of a class. So I can go into an activity and if we take a look here you'll see there's all sorts of different activities available to me. This is my chemistry activities that are available to me and it's a really nice environment. I, I'm excited to see how this develops over time because I think it's a really de well-designed space. It looks really nice. It's a nice environment to be in. And of course the activities are the, the main goal here, but I can go in, let's just choose an activity. I can read about the activity. So this is an activity where I can work with uh, uh, salts. So I'm gonna go in here and start this activity. You're working on the salts assembly line today and you must assemble each salt as written on the crate. Salts are made of positively charged metal cations on your left. You can see here that I'm doing grabbing and different And negatively charged in. anions on your right. Well done! With each level, the salt assembly will get more complex. Get to the last level and beat the game. Assemble the salt written on the crate. Now I'm going Grab to go out of the activity here, on your uh, but I could play this. There's eight levels that I could get to combining different objects in there. And one of the things I really like is that if I go into another activity, so let's go into my bouncing activity, 
I'm not going to get the same activity with a different subject. I'm going to get a whole new activity. So here, let's play this activity. Take one Regent particle from the left. Okay, it's going to load up. Place this particle on the Regent side. Take one product particle from the right and place it on the table. The products go to the product side. Pull the lever to check if the reaction is balanced. The amounts of each substance on both sides of the equation must match. Add the missing particles. I actually had my son do this activity and he just recently finished a chemistry course. So he just recently finished a chemistry course and he thought this was amazing and would have had loved to have had this when he was studying chemistry. Well done! You have balanced the chemical equation. Pull the lever to start the game. Your task is to balance the chemical equations. Again, I could play this activity. I can look here and see what I'm trying to do. There's a lot of different activities, a lot of good information on screen, a lot of interactivity. Nice! And I'm rewarded and I can continue on, but I'll, I'll just escape for now. The more I played around with this solution, the more impressed I became. And I am excited to follow along to see what new products and new topics are introduced onto this platform. On this channel, we look at how we can use technology to teach and learn more effectively. If that's of interest to you, go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. What do you think about virtual reality and education? And specifically, what do you think about the idea of having this tied to a learning management system with the ability to track and use classroom environments and quizzes combined with the virtual reality experimentation? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.